Rendezvous with Eva at the top of the mountains. According to her, the shaft leading to the mountains should be located in the far northeastern corner of the forest. Enter the shaft and head into the mountains. Proceed to the northeast. Snake, what's that you're wearing? It's moss camouflage. I got it from the end. Interesting. It seems to have part of the end's power sealed within it. If you wear it in a place where the sun shines, you'll automatically recover stamina. It'll also give you a high rate of camouflage in Siviato Gorni and Socro Vieno, the end's home territory. The forest you're in now is known as Socro Vieno. The name means the most holy woods. It's been venerated since ancient times as the sacred home of the spirits of the forest. It's the largest and deepest forest in the region and is divided into three areas, south, west, and north. Try not to get lost, okay? There's an armory in the southern area. If you need some extra ammo, you might want to pay it a visit. The tunnel to the mountains is to the northeast. Head that way. You're using a Mosin Nagant? Yeah. It's what the end was using. I see. The M1891-30 Mosin Nagant is a real beauty of a bolt-action sniper rifle. It's been in use since World War II. Mosin Nagants are created by selecting the best-made weapons out of the regular M1891-30 rifle production line for their high precision and upgrading them to sniper rifles. They add an optical sight, make the trigger pull lighter, bend the charging handle underneath, you know, that kind of stuff. The Mosin Nagant has been known far and wide since the war for its superior capabilities. They were so highly valued that a lot of German snipers on the Eastern Front preferred to use captured Mosin Nagants instead of their own rifles. It looks like the N took the one he'd been using since the war and modified it to fire tranquilizer rounds. Yeah, it's also been fitted with a folding stock and a pistol grip. Maybe for parachute jumps? Well, I don't know why he did it, but that's the tool of a legendary sniper. It's got to be a fine piece of work. But remember, the Mosin Nagant is a bolt-action rifle, so you'll have to load a new tranquilizer round into the chamber by hand every time you fire. That means no repeat firing. One shot, one kill. When you equip a sniper rifle, you'll go straight into first-person view. Once you're in position, press the aim button to look through the scope. The trigger is the weapon button, as usual. You can change the magnification on the scope by pressing the action button. You can fire from a standing position, but your aim will be a heck of a lot steadier if you're lying down. Try it out. Eva, how are things on your end? Are you going to be able to make it? I'm fine. I managed to slip out okay, though I did run into a few snags. Is there a problem? I took a little detour on my way here. Detour? Yeah. I thought since you went to all this trouble to meet me, I should give you a present. A present? What is it? You really want to know? Yeah. It's a secret. <laughs> You'll find out when you get here.
You found your way to the mountains, I see. There's an underground tunnel near the top. You can use it to sneak into Groznygrad. But Eva said the door to the tunnel is sealed off. Yeah, she's supposed to bring me the key. First, rendezvous with Eva and get the key from her. The rendezvous point is in the ruins at the summit. The summit is still further up the mountain. Keep heading up towards the summit. You made it to the mountains. Those mountains are known as Krasnogorye. The name means the Red Mountain Ridge in Russian. The entire range has been fortified to act as a defense for the great fortress of Groznygrad. The area near the top has been dug with bunkers and trenches, and there are anti-aircraft gun emplacements everywhere. It's literally an impenetrable wall. Proceed with caution. Oh, there's a provision storehouse in the hillside area, and there's an armory at the summit. I'll meet you in the ruins at the top of the mountains. The summit is still a ways up. Keep going forward. Don't shoot! Answer me! Fire support request 145.68. Answer me! Let me go! Freeze! Major, that attack chopper is here. The one from the heliport? Yeah. Perhaps it's an armed variation of the MI-8 hit. No. Some of it looks the same, but the overall shape is different. It's got stub wings, and the cockpit canopy looks like an angular greenhouse. No kidding. Then it must be some kind of new model. 
I've heard stories recently that the Soviets are developing a flying infantry combat vehicle. That's gotta be it. A flying infantry combat vehicle? Yeah, a transport chopper with troop carrying capabilities. Think of it as an attack transport chopper version of France's AMX VCI or the Soviet BMP. They must be doing field tests on the initial prototype. A next generation chopper that's a little smaller than the hip. Maybe we should call it a hind. Hmm, not bad. It's cool with me. Then it's settled. We'll refer to that new type helicopter as a hind from now on. If the enemies in that area catch sight of you, they'll call in for support from the hind. The hind's armor is impenetrable to normal fire, such as rifle bullets. But if you take over one of the anti-aircraft guns placed throughout the mountains, you should be able to take it off. What else could you use against a hind? Well, I suppose a rocket launcher might do the trick. The Hind is armed with a 12.7mm machine gun on the nose and rocket pods and anti-tank missiles on the stub wing hardpoints. Normally you'd be crazy to try and fight it on foot. If it starts attacking with the machine gun or the rockets, take cover behind something as fast as you can. As for the missiles, you should be able to knock out their guidance system by using a chaff grenade to block the radio signal. Stay alert. Volgan has sent out attack choppers to stop you. You saw them at the heliport, didn't you? They're probably already patrolling the area. If you get spotted by the enemy, you'll be dealing with that thing. Just my luck. I don't have any weapons that'll work against them. There should be an RPG-7 in a bunker in the hillside. A portable rocket launcher, huh? That should be enough to swat bothersome flies. You could also try using an anti-aircraft gun. You can take over an anti-aircraft gun by pressing the action button when you're near it. Eva, is that attack chopper the escape route you were talking about? No, that thing doesn't have enough range for us to escape in. So what are we going to use? Something you've never been in before. Something I've never been in? That's right. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. You must be worn out from all that mountain climbing. There's a provision storehouse at the back of the hillside area. Why don't you go stock up on rations? <laughs> 